for the Breeders' Crown. Field of 10, three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings lined up. Here they come. The Rob, make it brief on the outside, sticks ahead in front there. No pad intended under some whip urging there is leaving out of there. All-American Capdor with his early speed offering around the first turn and Pierce Guns make it brief to the top. All-American Capdor rushes up into the second spot. He's under urging there. Right behind him is Escape the Wind off to a good start in third. Quality Western got away fourth. No pad intended. Tucks in fifth past the quarter. The Real Dion is racing sixth. Then it's Arm Roll Anime followed by All-American Native near the back of the pack. That one followed by Canyon Wind getting underway in Artesian Trails 27 and 1. Down the back stretch, Escape the Wind, and Roger Mayotte on top here has cleared the top. Escape the Wind leads the way. All American Captor now second, and Make It Brief squeezes out there, flushed out by No Pan Intended, who's now second over past the half mile. Quality Western gapping on the rail fifth at this point. The Real Dion under urging, gapping the cover sixth on the outside. Then it's two to Armbrow Animate, followed by All American Native near the back, Artesian and Canyon. Canyon wind and here comes no pan intended with a dramatic brush of speed blows by make it brief off a half of 55 and one so Miller asked for speed and no pan intended obliged it's no pan intended make it brief now in the second spot as they pass three quarters escape the wind is back in third uncovered is the real Dion fourth on the outside that leaves all American captors shuffled back and locked in three wide comes arm roll animate and stacked behind him is all American native Three quarters, one, 23 and two. End of the stretch at three to five. It's no pan intended looking to take off from them, leading it by three. No pan intended with Miller. All out is make it brief. The others fan across the track. All American native on the far outside between horses, Armbro Enemy. Quality Western looks for room. Far outside, Artesian. A horse of the year favorite for 2003. No pan intended over Escape the Wind. That one followed by All American native, then make it brief. And All American captor, one, 51 and one for no. Pan intended. Hundred dollar Breeders' Crown final. A winner of the pacing triple crown, the tenth to do that. The Cane Pace Messenger and Little Brown Jug. Well over a million dollars this season. Sixteen wins in twenty starts. Trained by Ivan Sugg, Peter Pan Stables, Pepper Pike, Ohio, Mr. Bob Glazer eight-time owner champion here at the Big M and the Red Hot Dave Miller in the bike. No pan intended makes it look easy tonight here at the Big M in one fifty-one and one. That's a new lifetime mark for no pan intended. Post time for the eighth race in 15 minutes at 9.47. In race 10, scratch three, Casimir Commotion is sick. In a circle, no pan intended has done it. Trainer Ivan Sugg. Ivan, last year, no pan intended was fourth in the Breeders' Crown at 77 to 1. Now he's the leading contender for Horse of the Year. What has happened in the interim here? Oh, about 16 wins. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what did it. But he has been a tremendous horse all year, and he just keeps going. You said he was fresh at the end of the year as he was at the beginning. He seems to be. The race he went at Freehold was an unbelievable race, and I think he went a, a big race tonight, too. If you had to put your finger on his single best quality about no pen intended, what would that be? Oh, I don't know. You know, he, he's just a super horse, and he just come into his own. Is he an easy training horse, easy on himself? Yeah, he's very easy. You can't train him fast. He won't let you train him fast, and uh, he's always hungry, he eats every meal, he's never been lame, and he, he just does it all. Is the Horse of the Year award at the finish line for him next week, is that officially his if he wins the crown? Oh, I think so. I don't see how they can keep it from him. <laughs> I know Glen, Glen Gage Farm's not going to want to hear this, uh, they're going to stand him, but racing him at four is quite a temptation, isn't it? Oh, it would be for me. I don't know, Bob it looks at it a different way, but for me, I think he would be just that much better next year. Okay, Ivan Sugg, maybe we'll see you here next week in the same spot. I hope so. Ivan Sugg, maybe the trainer of the Horse of the Year, no pen intended, has done it.